Jasmine with Jasmine live in Las Vegas. Jasmine. And Jeff, just look at one of these growing memorials for the victims here along the strip. Uh, the candles, just the flowers, the balloons that have been brought out, and the messages written, uh, written to those uh, people who died, to the families. They are just heartbreaking uh, notes to also the survivors, just hope, uh, calling for peace, sending messages of love. And this is President Trump is on his way here to Vegas right now, expected to land around 930 this morning. And take a look. There he is. You're going to see uh, President Trump landing and then boarding Air Force One at Joint Base Andrews with the First Lady at his side. He was in Puerto Rico yesterday. He called the gunman, Stephen Paddock, demented and a very, very sick individual. For about four hours today, uh, Trump will tour the aftermath of the the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history, and he's going to meet with survivors and police who he praised for doing an incredible job. His visit comes a day after police body cam video was released of the chaos. Go that way! Get out of here! There's gunshots coming from over there! Go that way! Go that way! Wow, under that barrage of gunfire, officers telling people to get down at one point. An officer's vest covers his body cam as he uses his own body to protect a woman on the ground. Another view shows officers taking cover behind a wall, behind police cars. A police say paddock fired off and on for 9 to 11 minutes in a dozen or so volleys. The shots started at 10.08. They ended at 10.19. We continue to hear stories of heroics by police officers, first responders, and average citizens alike. I commend all of their actions as they sh showed immense courage in the face of extreme danger. And new photos from inside that 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay. You can see that police tape wrapped across the double doors of the suite. There's a room service cart in the hallway that Paddock had rigged with a camera. Also, one of the assault rifles on the floor on a tripod with a scope. Uh, Paddock set up cameras inside of the hotel suite as well. He had 23 guns inside, a hammer to break the windows. Also, photos there of the Daily Mail showing a stack of magazines, shell casings near those guns. ATF said 12 of those guns had bump fire. Fire stocks on them to fire more rapidly upon the crowd below. Uh, CBS News this morning reporting in an exclusive interview with ATF agents uh, that Paddock purchased 33 firearms in the last year alone. Paddock killed himself before police stormed that hotel room. Uh, I'm here with Brandon. He came out to the memorial this morning uh, from Riverside County. Uh, Brandon, just tell us your thoughts uh, leading into today. Um, honestly, you know, it was it was Sunday night. And um, and, I, and I was watching the news. I came down, you know, I came upstairs, and my dad was showing. I was like, "All right, well, I'm gonna, you know, figure out what's going on." And I, you know, I hear all these gunfires going off on the on the uh, video, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And um, so I saw some of my buddies post. One of my buddy Joseph lost his closest friend, um, one of the 60 victims that was shot. And I have a good friend, Lauren, uh, one of my best friends most of my life, and uh, she. Uh, right now, her boyfriend is in the Children's Hospital right now at sunset. So I came immediately uh, last night to come and uh, pay my respects and love and light these candles and for these light people these that candles. really need it. Thank you, Brandon, and I'm so sorry Thank for you your so loss. You. Uh, Jeff, Sharon, I'll send it back to you. Just one of the many people who will be continuing to come out to these memorials today. All right.